So when we talk about the running costs of a garden, things like maintenance, fertilisers and even pest control can take up a fair chunk of that. But for me, the big one is water consumption. And you know what, with the price of water skyrocketing, a thirsty garden can really break the bank. So it pays to choose the right plants. Now to make that a little bit easier, we've done a little bit of a whip around the nursery here to put together some of my favourite plants that are definitely water efficient. Now we can start with the olive. Olives are great to bring in, you can use them as a screen. So too the sacred bamboo. Now this is an andina, gets to about two and a half metres tall, perfect for a, for a fence line or even just a feature tree. Even things like rosemary, not just for the herb garden, you can actually prune these up and make a hedge out of them. If you've got a shady part of the garden, then clivias. Look at this beautiful colour that comes in here. If you're looking for a little bit of silver foliage, lamb's ear is a beautiful, really nice texture. We've got the little silver nugget here, gets to about 50 by 50, makes a nice little highlight. And for a cascading ground cover here, the Dichrondra Silver Falls is an absolute winner. Now, if you're looking for some showstoppers, well, then we've got ones like this. This is asparagus fern. These are really, really bulletproof. And so too here is the torch lily, which will bring a lot of drama into the garden. Then we move on to lavenders. And as you can see, different colours, different sizes, uh, beautiful smells that come in the garden can be hedged as well. And lastly, we've got the glabra cadabra. Now, this is a form of restringia. Once again, this will get to about a metre and a half tall, so it's good for covering fences or most of your fence, but it can also be clipped down and create an interesting hedge or a bit of a topiary. So, you know, that's a really nice option as well. Now, most people have the misconception that these plants, are, because they are hardy, and they are, that they don't need any water. Well, that's not true. And especially when they're young, they're gonna need to establish. Now, if you wanna continue with water efficiency in your garden, I wanna show you some really, really good ways to keep it well irrigated. So by using water weepers, these are really easy and inexpensive. Basically, all they do is they plug into your hose, you can run them under the mulch, and they just emit and dribble out water through these hoses here, and there's no evaporation, so they're really, really inexpensive to run. Now, another one, if you're looking for a, a, you know, a fitted system, one that's going to be either fully automated or even just running off a timer, you can also go for drip tube. Now, drip tube's fantastic again. Once again, it'll be hidden under the mulch like the water weeper. Uh, it emits a little bit of water, no evaporation. It'll get right to the plants where they need it and it's gonna keep costs down again. Now, when you're using these types, of systems here, it's important to use a pressure reducer. It'll just reduce the pressure that's going through there and make sure none of the fittings blow off or pop off. So really easy to do. Here's some good plants. Get cracking in your garden. It'll looking good.